Hey everybody, welcome to Home with the Halsteads. Today we're making petite cheesecakes. These are so delicious and can be served in so many a variety of settings. You can serve it as a dessert, you can serve it at parties, you can serve it at showers, you can eat it as a snack, uh, you can just serve it in any way that you want to or just pick one up as you're passing through your kitchen and eat it. So I have all of my ingredients laid out here. We're going to get busy and get started. And I'm going to be using these little phyllo shells today. And I'll talk more about that as we go along. See you in a little bit. For our petite cheesecakes, I'm using these Athens um, phyllo shells. Now they're 15 in this package. And guess what? I'm going to be using the recipe on the back. But I'm only going to be making half of it. So I'm going to lay this aside, we're going to get started, make up our mixture, and then I'll show you the shells. They are so beautiful and so petite and so delicious. So I'm starting out with four ounces of cream cheese, and I'm just going to start mixing that. If you were making the whole recipe, you would of course use eight ounces of cream cheese. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar. Now, I like to mix my dry ingredients together, so I have two teaspoons of flour, and I'm going to put that in my sugar and stir it around, kind of mix it up, uh, get the little lumps out before I add it to the cream cheese. And I'm using all-purpose, um, which is plain flour. I'm using all-purpose flour in this recipe. So now, I'm going to start my mixer back and we're just going to uh, kind of cream that together, the flour, the sugar, and the cream cheese. Just mixing it around. To this, I'm adding one egg. I love cheesecake. And I love mini cheesecakes or petite cheesecakes. Um, I don't know about you, but in our area, when we have our little parties, our little get-togethers, anything that is just a little pickup that you can pick it up and keep going or, or just have a bite or two of something is a huge, huge hit. So I like to make things like this when I'm preparing to serve someone or to share with someone. Now I'm adding one half teaspoon of vanilla. And of course I'm using Miss Mart's wonderful, oh, I just smell that, it is so good. This is Cristanella. It's put out by Superior um, and it's so, so good. And we're adding, we're gonna kick it up a notch, two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So now we're just going to mix this around, mixing it really, really well. We just want to make sure that it's all blended together. Break it down on the sides and continue to mix it around a little bit, making sure that all the lumps are out of it. The um, lemon juice serves as a thickening agent as well as the flour. Now, let me show you the shells. These are so, so good and so delicious. Aren't they pretty? There are 15 of these little shells in a package, and I'll be honest with you, I look for them on sale. Um, at my grocery store, uh, they had two for one, and that's when I buy things that are kind of a specialty item. Uh, I try to keep some in my freezer, and when I go to the grocery store, I check to see if they're on sale. If they are, I get them. If they're not, then I'm in good shape because I have some in my freezer. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transfer my um, batter or my mixture into a bag. I think that I can fill it better uh, 
with a bag um, because these little shells are so small and I want to keep them as tidy as possible. So let me put it in a bag and I'll be right back. I told you that I was going to use a bag to fill our little shells, but the um, mixture is too thin. Uh, some people might be successful with that, but as I poured it in the bag, I realized it was too thin. So I immediately um, abandoned that idea and I just filled them with a little spoon. So we have 15 little uh, shells that are filled with our uh, cream, uh, with our uh, mixture, and then we're going to put them in the oven on 325 and bake them uh, probably about 12 minutes. When they get done, I'll show them to you and then we'll let them cool and we'll garnish them. Our petite cheesecakes are done. Uh, they're ready to come out of the oven. You can see this one right here. I um, inserted a little uh, probe into the middle and it came out clean, so these are ready. The next step is to let them cool and then we'll garnish them. I baked our cheesecake cakes for um, 15 minutes on 325. I have let them cool and now I am using a bag. I have some um, extra creamy Cool Whip in my little bag here and I have a little tip on top and I'm just squirting a little bit of Cool Whip on top of the cheesecakes. Now you can come back and you can top it with a little tiny piece of strawberry like that. You can, whatever kind of fruit is in season, that's probably what I would use. You could also use um, shaved chocolate. That would be good. That would be pretty. And so I'm going to um, finish this up and then I will be back in just a minute. Okay, dear friends, we are ready to party. Look at our petite cheesecakes. And I have some little roses here out of my garden. Look at that. You can tell I am a party girl and these are going to be delicious. And that's how it's done, just as easy as that. We have petite cheesecakes. So now let's try one. Thank you for being with me in my kitchen today. Look at that. These are so delicious. I'm going to take this little strawberry off and eat it first. Mmm. Now I'm ready to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You'll want to make these. That is so good. Oh my goodness. That's delicious. I'll see you again really soon.